please join us as we sing Hark the Herald Angels. job, Leon. You too. Thanks for your hard work. Hey, start learning your lines, okay? Sure. See you next week, bro. Yeah, Leon. Peace out. Um, excuse me, are you Leon? Yes, I am. I'm Olivia, and this is Brady. Hey. We're here about parts in the Christmas pageant. Oh, yes. Great. Thanks for coming. Have, let's talk. Thanks. Well, now you understand these are minor roles, right? Yes. Uh-huh. But even though they are small parts, they are very important. Every role is important when it comes to telling the story of the nativity. Yes, we understand. Uh-huh. Now, before you audition, I'm going to ask you some questions, and I want you to answer honestly, all right? Okay. All right. Answer the following questions by responding to them with either always, sometimes, never, or don't know. Okay. Uh, sure. Do you ever like to be in the spotlight? Is it always, sometimes, never, or don't know? Well, I'd have to say sometimes, I guess. Sometimes. And you, Brady? What? The spotlight. Do you ever like to be in the spotlight? Uh, I don't know. He doesn't know. Leon wanted to make sure that every cast member was there for the right reason, that their hearts were right and that no one was wanting to take the focus off of telling the story of Jesus. But while he was looking for commitment from everybody else, he forgot to check his own attitude out the door. Leon? Yeah? Hey, Brooke. Julie? What are you doing back here? We wanted to talk to you about the script. Yeah, us too. We just finished reading all the way through. What about it? It's different. So? I rewrote a few sections. Some minor changes. Some minor changes? You've added characters to this pageant I've never heard of. Who is Shirley the Sheep? Oscar the Ox? Donnie the Donkey? Those are called extra biblical characters. What? Characters that weren't named in the Bible, but were assumed to have been there. But surely, the sheep? Hello, Jesus was born in a barn. You mean you're actually gonna have real animals with names? Well, not exactly. Then what exactly? La, 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 la. Well, I was about to run through that part with Olivia, 
Brady, and my able assistant, Freddie. And I've got Anna on the solo. By the way, I wrote this myself. You're gonna love it. stock for the whole community. Laughing stock? That's a good suggestion, Brooke. This time all you livestock look happy. After all, the savior is born. Deck the stalls in Bethlehem. Ba, ba, ba. Hee-haw. Come you all to Bethlehem. Ba, ba, ba. Hee-haw. See the savior there before us. Ba, Now the big finish, everybody. Well, that needs a lot of work, you guys. But I like my new additions, don't you? Looked like Leon's power was starting to go to his head. He seemed to be losing sight of why he was doing it at all. Meanwhile, the cast got together to decide how to deal.
Guys, what's going on with Leon? He's losing it. We've created a monster. We've got to talk to him about it. You mean, you've got to talk to him about it? Why me? You're Mary, a main character. So, David's Joseph. That's a main character, too. So? So then, David, it's your job to bring Leon back to his senses. Me? Yeah, man to man. Oh, all right. I'll talk to him. Oh no, you're too kind. Please. No, it's, it's my pleasure. Yeah, it's my pleasure, Mrs. Redlin. It's my pleasure. Well, if I must. Leon? Yeah? Hey, David. What's up? I wanted to talk to you about something. Yeah? What? Something wrong? Having trouble with your lines? No, nothing like that. Good, because it's a little late to start changing my plans. See, that's the thing. All of this is your plan. Oh, so now you're jealous. No, Leon, not at all. It's just that some of us were thinking that maybe you're going overboard with the leadership thing. I understand your concern, David, but don't worry. I know to keep my focus on God's gift to the world. Yeah, just as long as you remember that God's greatest gift to the world wasn't you.
about what David had said, but he also had other responsibilities. And after a while, he sort of forgot. I wanted golden amber lightning gels, not deep amber. It's not like the details weren't coming together. Leon just wanted everything done his way. What do you mean you can't have the step built by tomorrow? I want it done now. And when the proofs for the program came back from the printer, Leon's ego went a little over the top. It's Leon, not Leo. How many times do I have to tell you that? I just want it fixed before this program goes to print. Do you understand? Okay. And uh, if you could make the font on my name a lot bigger, that would be great. Uh, Leon? Yeah? Hey, Freddy. Um, well, I'm afraid I have some bad news. What? What now? Well, remember Olivia, the girl who plays Shirley the Sheep? Yeah. Well, I just got a phone call from my mother. Olivia's gonna have to drop out of the pageant altogether. What? Why? Well, she took a nasty fall at gymnastics today, and, well, she's in the hospital. The hospital? She can't do this to me. But Olivia might need to have surgery. Her arm has a serious break. <sighs> Opening night is tomorrow night. And, I mean, I'm gonna look bad when half my cast doesn't show up. But... <sighs> Call everybody in this pageant. Tell them to meet me here in one hour, in full costume. Just the year before, Leon had been a lowly understudy, and it was then that he taught everyone a lesson in humility. Please join us as we sing Joy to the World. be all right. Yeah, maybe after this we can go by the hospital and see if we can cheer up a little. Okay, listen up people, you know why we're here. We have a major crisis on our hands. Yeah, we know that Olivia might have surgery on her arm. I meant the pageant. What about it? Don't you get it? Opening night is tomorrow night, and we have no sheep. Oh dear, I guess we'll just have to cut that deck the stall song out of the entire pageant. No, I want it left in. Yeah, you have to leave it in. My mom worked hard on that costume. <laughs> and my grandmother's coming all the way from Portland just to hear me sing my solo. Well. Olivia's part isn't that big. I'm sure somebody can cover it. But who? Everybody else already has a role. You could do it, Leon. Me? I'm the director. Yeah, but all your work is done. We won't need you backstage. But everybody knows what they're supposed to do. 
We practice really hard. And we all know our lines. But the part of the sheep is for a girl. Surely the sheep. So, Shirley the sheep can be, um, Sherman the sheep. Well, um, the program has already gone to print. So, we'll make an announcement, just like they do in the big theaters. Ladies and gentlemen, the part of Shirley the sheep will be played by Leon as Sherman the sheep. Mm, but I, come on, Leon, you're the only one. We need you, man. But I can't. Why not? Because, um, I would look ridiculous in that costume. So, we all look a little silly in our biblical costumes. But I was planning on wearing my good pants. Oh, Leon. Don't you see? I'd have to actually get down on the floor. I'd have to kneel. Leon, can't you at least pray about it? This would be a good chance for you to show us that you're a leader by humbling yourself to serve. Well, I guess I could try. Just the year before, Leon had been a lowly understudy, and it was then he taught everyone a lesson in humility. <coughs>
opening night. Everyone was a little, a little nervous. More nervous than usual. No one had seen Leon. And no one knew if he was coming at all. And so the pageant had to go on without him. Has anyone seen Leon yet? Not that I know of. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth and Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there are no rooms available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. And the angel of the Lord appeared to them. And the glory of God shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You'll find the baby wrapped in cloths, lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared to them. With an angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest of heavens, and on earth peace to those who his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone up into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened that the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary, Joseph, and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them deep in her heart. Hi guys, sorry I'm late.
Well, the program went on without a hitch. As Leon filled in as a simple sheep that night, he thought about how Jesus, the Son of God, had humbled himself and came to live along mankind. Glancing at the baby doll that was lying there in the manger, he was reminded of how easy it is to get caught up in even doing good things at Christmas and forget about the Savior whose birth we are here to celebrate. We have all done the same things at times, filling our schedules with activities and gift-giving plans that we sometimes lose sight of the greatest gift any one of us can receive. For John 3.16 says, God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only son so that whoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. May this simple truth hold fast to each of our hearts this Christmas. As our night comes to a close, let's remember the words that Isaiah wrote about Jesus so many years before that first Christmas night. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. The, of the greatness and of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on, kingdom, on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Now please join us as we sing Silent Night. 